Hey, Dad, wanna play a game of Genius Invocation? But before we play, I got one thing to say to you. If you're already tipsy from drinking today, then the game will be over in three rounds. In three rounds? <laughs> Sounds like you're underestimating your dear father. I'm pretty sure I could drag the game out to at least uh, five rounds. Huh, and you'd still lose. You think that's something to be proud of? Last time we played, you mistook the Hydro Elemental dice you rolled for Cryo. Ugh, so annoying. <laughs> you know I have a problem with my eyesight. No, you have a problem with drinking. Don't try to cover it up. All right, all right, I know. Drinking is bad. I won't drink today. Not even a single drop. There, happy? Hmm, I guess so. Now, if I do win, what's the prize? What? You tried to get me to mix you a drink? Don't you even think about it! What if I win in under five rounds? In your dreams. I won't lose. Let's start. So, you leave for a few days and come back with some serious TCG skills. Care to explain? I was fortunate enough to have played a match with a skilled opponent. Oh? And who might that be? Oh, wait, let me try to guess. Ah, uh, Ningguang doesn't have the time for this sort of thing. Hmm... Xiongling and Xinyan aren't usually practicing either. <laughs> if Yao Yao were free, she'd be running down to the ship to say hi to everyone, so that rules her out. Huh, could it be the Traveler? Did she happen to be in Liyue Harbor? Sorry, Captain. You still haven't guessed it. But I did happen to see the Traveler and even forged a new friendship over cards. Oh, made a new friend, huh? Then I won't be able to guess it. Yes, I met Hu Tao, director of the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. Have you heard of her? Yeah, I've heard of her before. I isn't she the one that won the King of Invocations Grand Prix in Liyue? That's right. She said that she's been an admirer of yours for a long time, and hopes to make your acquaintance one day. All right, there isn't a better opportunity. We'll invite her aboard to play a few matches, and I'll get a taste of playing against a champion. Oh, speaking of which, perhaps I should go find her personally at the Wangsheng Funeral Parlor. You know, to show some sincerity. Oh, oh, did you make the trip all the way back here just to see me? Oh, so that's what you uncovered in the end. Hmm, I'm not quite sure how I feel about that. But thank you for letting me know. Hearing how things ended almost feels like reading the end of a light novel. Now we can all rest at ease. Winning or losing isn't what's most important. It's about playing with elegance. That's how I've always looked at it anyway. After seeing you all cheering for me though, I suppose I really tried to bring my best to the game. <laughs> now that I think about it, it was great that I was able to speak with you before the competition. Uh, uh, no, please don't ever mention that to anyone. Since you came all the way to Watatsumi Island, you might as well rest for a moment before you return. I hope this view will stay in your heart forever. Traveler, what a coincidence. Sino already told me everything that happened. I'll stop you right there. <laughs> Sino has already told me countless jokes with that smug look on his face. I don't want to hear any more. <laughs> That's all I have to say on that topic. Things have been quiet in the Avidia Forest lately, so I've been playing with Kale every now and then. Kale never ceases to amaze me. She even managed to place well in that tournament. 
Even though I was able to make it out of the qualifiers, luck wasn't on my side and I faced Sino only a few matches in. That guy shows no mercy when it comes to genius invocation. He even let out a loud yell when he played the winning card. It really hurt my ears. It's been a while since I've seen him get so stirred up like that. No need to be so polite. You should visit again when you have the time. <sighs> I really didn't see that coming. <laughs>